Today is day one of the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival, the second day of our trip. We check out the merch and grab some tasty food and cold beer and chill with good company. But before we head to the festival, we get in some riding. Yesterday we had a tough day on the Highline Trail, so today we are in search of mellow rides with flow and some techie sections. We start the first part of the ride at Mescal Trail and take a long mellow climb to Long Canyon, which was a nice warm up. It took about 15 minutes to get to Long Canyon. Long Canyon Trail wasn't too exciting, no special features, just a hill that leads to Dead Man's Pass. Nice little warm up, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Great. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Been doing a long, slow climb. Nice for a little downhill now. Pretty cool. Dead Man's Pass is cool because there are a lot of little drops and chunk on one side of the trail to make it more challenging for advanced riders. Less advanced riders can just bypass the more technical sections and stay in the dirt. Let her rip. Since this was my first time riding, I was a little cautious and took more of the easy lines. But now that I've seen it, I think it was pretty mellow and if I were to do it again, I'd go faster and do more of the advanced lines. This section of Dead Man's Pass is really fast. A little chunky. And had lots of humps nice. where you can catch some air. I was able to catch a few. Oh, I wasn't sure which way. Yeah. This trail seems like it'd be fun once you kind of learned it, you know which line. Right here is near the end of Dead Man's Pass, and we're headed back to Mescal. Pretty cool. Now we're back on Mescal. Mescal is a cool trail because you ride along the red rock. It's fun switching between the dirt and the red rock. There's a little exposure to the right, but nothing too crazy, but you also get those beautiful views. There are views of the canyon and a great view of the tall red rocks. Oh, that view. <laughs> nice. This is a popular spot for walkers and hikers, all admiring the views of the tall red rocks. Beautiful day. Good morning. Thank you. About an hour into the ride, we take a quick break for snacks and a group photo. We pass another nice. group of riders and then drop into Canyon of Fools. Canyon of Fools started out rocky but flowy along the edge of the red rock with a few switchbacks and some cactus you need to watch out for. Oh, that one kind of steers you right into that rock. <laughs> then the trail takes you into a quarter mile long gorge that was totally different from any features that we had seen in Sedona so far. Felt like you were in a movie scene or something. Yeah, kind of cool. A little, little gorge here. That was cool. Yeah, I like to see those Yeah. We get to the Dawa Trailhead near the parking area. 
which leads to a series of trails that eventually gets us to Chuck Wagon. These trails are a mix of flowy up and down intervals that get your heart pumping for a bit, then lets you recover. That was kind of a fun little section. To the right, the trail takes you on an easier route. However, I chose the line through a section that's like riding up stair step. I had a poor choice in lines there. And I had to carry my bike for a bit. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah, you too. One of the great things about riding in Sedona, no matter where you are, you always seem to get an awesome view of the mesas and rock formations. It's cool little downhill. Stop, and there was like a group that was like sessioning them. There were girls doing this. Oh, they were yeah, yeah, yeah. They were just like camp. We met another group of riders and told them about our ride on Highline yesterday. I put a link to that video below. It's nice to get to know other riders on the trail, but every once in a while you run into a lover's quarrel about directions. Right, Brian? Yeah. Now they're looping in this direction. And this is why we left our wives at home. This section had some big rocks jutting from the side that nice. were sure yeah. to cause some damage. I'm glad I have a little layer on my shoe because I definitely smacked the rock. <laughs> yeah. Actually, last year I saw a French guy literally get his leg trapped under one of those. Uh, it was clipped in. Uh -huh. He just wedged his pedal right under it just right and could not get out. His, oh. his buddy had like pulled him out. Wrong there. Yeah. Oh, you look. Yeah, that wasn't very uh, confidence inspiring. The last push before the end of the ride is technical and leads oh, into the riverbed. Knew that wasn't gonna happen. It has <laughs> oh, good. It's the end of a three-hour ride. Oh, I didn't realize we're right here. Some of us are ready for an ice cold beer, and some want to keep going. Started on? Yeah. Where we went up the what do they call it? The uh, Rude Awakening. I'm good if we're gonna go. A little awakening and then down to the Mezcal entry. I think I'd be in if there wasn't beer over here, but yeah, that's kind of pulling my arm. Over. <laughs> yeah, I just We finished a full day of riding, got cleaned up, and now we're headed to the festival. Dang, look at this thing. Look at these tires that go with this. Check out the Santa Cruz. I'm a Santa Cruz oh, yeah. fanboy. <laughs> At the festival, there are vendors from all over the country. We came across Intense Cycles out of Temecula, California, and Eminent Cycles, a bike manufacturer near my home in San Marcos, California. Oh, this is the Eminent that's in uh, San Marcos. Eminent? Yeah, it's San Marcos. What? Yeah. Oh, this is Derek's bike here. I kind of like these, like the white wall type. Oh, do you have one? I do, yeah, I got a uh, seat. Hot oh, there! The festival was great. We got some beers, ate tasty food from the food trucks, and checked out the gear at some of the vendors. All the big name vendors were there, and there were so many cool bikes that I wanted to check out. But after riding a full day, I wasn't in the mood to do a demo. We spent a few hours at the festival and head back to the hotel to ride again tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I got more videos coming.